Hey, how are you? Well, before I get started today, I wanted to give my website a quick plug because we've added something new, which is Recipe Thursdays. And if you haven't guessed, that's a recipe every Thursday. And the idea there is that you'll go to the website, and if you like the recipe, it's something that you can share with your friends and family over the weekend. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and my friend Peter's a great cook, and so I'm looking forward to those recipes myself. So last week I harvested a little honey from my top bar beehive, and basically what you do is you, you remove the honeycomb, it's filled with honey, and then you crush it up and pour it through a paint strainer, and that removes the honey from the wax, and then you're left with this wax that still has a lot of honey in it, and the kids chewed that up and spit it into a bucket, and then I rinsed it out, and let it dry and now I'm going to cook it down into a liquefied form and start to make encaustic medium. Encaustic is an ancient art medium but it was made famous by the artist Jasper Johns in the 1950s with paintings of the American flag and targets. The main ingredient in encaustic is beeswax. The recipe for encaustic is eight parts beeswax to one part Damar crystals and you can color the encaustic with oil paint or powdered pigments and these are a few examples of colors I've made using oil paint. The container weighs an ounce and I have exactly nine ounces, so I've got eight ounces of beeswax. So I'll heat this up, get it to a liquefied form, and then add one ounce of Damar crystals. I want to try and remove the foreign material that's in the wax now, and I'll do that by pouring this through a paint strainer. I still want to remove more of the foreign material, so I've doubled up a paint strainer and I'll pour the wax back through. Well, I put the encaustic medium in the freezer for about 20 minutes. It's cooled down, which means it's dry. And, and that's one of the reasons why artists like to work with it. it. You can work with it pretty fast. So if you have ideas, you can kind of just keep pushing along. Now, I doubt that I'll continue to make my own encaustic with my own beeswax. And the reason for that is uh, it's impossible to get the beeswax clear the way, or not clear, but translucent, the way I can uh, when I buy it from a company. Uh, obviously the company has uh, a much more sophisticated filtering system than my paint strainer. But uh, that was fun to do. I think that what I'll do with the beeswax in the future, because if I continue to keep bees, I'm going to continue to get beeswax, uh, is maybe, um, maybe I'll make some candles. I've heard great things about making candles out of beeswax, and that's probably a fun project to do with the kids. So uh, uh, I, it's not going to go to waste, but I doubt that I'll make my own uh, encaustic medium. Now, um, if you want to know more about encaustic and see a few encaustic paintings by Jasper Johns or some of my paintings, you can go to my website and click on the post. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.